Premier Doug Ford and his government are facing a new challenge tonight over housing development and green space. This time it's from the city of Burlington. It's worried about the future of a unique neighborhood and the possible fallout from development for other parts of the city. Al Sweeney is covering the story and joins us live in studio with the latest. Al. Hi there, Taz. Well, Burlington's Millcroft area is a nice neighborhood, no doubt about that, as you'll see. And it's unusual in that it's built around a golf course. Angry residents say if you start putting houses on that golf course, it could lead to trouble. Millcroft is an established neighborhood with a golf course in the middle. Houses are built along the fairways and there's plenty of green space. This is a Burlington issue. This is an Ontario issue. Um, it's happening everywhere where they're developing where they shouldn't be developing. Residents say the housing design around the golf course was meant to prevent flooding in severe storms. The course soaks up the water. But now a developer isn't proposing to get rid of the course, but wants to build 90 homes encroaching further into four areas of the course. Residents say the result could be huge floods. When the place that's intended to capture the stormwater has houses built on it, that stormwater has to go somewhere and it's going to be in people's basements and it's going to affect their ability to get insurance. It's going to affect whether and for how much they can sell their homes. Uh, it's not where you should put housing. It's not where we uh, want to put housing. We want to protect and preserve that green space. So the mayor and the city are appealing to the provincial government, asking Queen's Park this week to help fight the development. This is going to an Ontario Lands Tribunal hearing in March of next year. The province could join forces with us at the tribunal to say, yeah, we, we don't want to see this development here either. The response to CHCH today from Housing Minister Paul Calandra's office was, as this matter is before the Ontario Land Tribunal, it would be inappropriate to comment. But people in Burlington say Doug Ford reversed policy to become the green belt protector now he should protect their green space. The biodiversity that is uh, that exists, uh, turtles and birds and amphibians, uh, there's so much wildlife that occurs that will all be gone. All of it disappeared. So we're told the houses in Millcroft sell for around two or two and a half million dollars. So building more of them isn't going to solve any affordability crisis. But development opponents say it will lead to a flooding crisis, not just in Millcroft, but for all the other Burlington neighborhoods south of Millcroft as waters flood toward Lake Ontario.